Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me today. Um, normally I open speaking to you directly on the camera, but today I'm having quite a bit of difficulty with my, my eye. And so uh, I decided to just keep my mug out of the picture here and get right to the right to the subject matter. So what I have for you today is an unboxing video. Some of the things I've gotten from the new mini catalog July to December and many of you uh, should start receiving your catalogs anytime now um, and it's the fall and Christmas um, material in here, although we have some in the, in the main catalog as well, and we're getting to have a second sale abrasion, which is great fun. So I have uh, some material for you that I have gotten from this catalog. As a demonstrator, you're allowed to pre-order some of the material, and of course you can't get everything, but I do have quite a bit of stuff that I would like to share with you. And um, the first things that I have um, are some dies and some, okay. These are the first items that I purchased out of the new catalog. And this is from a suite called Gingerbread and Peppermint. And what I got was the paper first of all, and it's cute paper in um, a lot of the colors of gingerbread and then the red and green. And so there is <coughs> paper, and I got it because it's mostly in the traditional colors with a little bit of whimsy, and I thought I could do quite a bit with that. And then there is this paper, and on the back side it has that pattern. Then we have this paper, polka dots, isn't that cute, with this kind of a gingerbread scroll on the back side. These gingerbread Christmas trees, and on the back side is a very pretty plaid in the more traditional colors. Then there is this one that has little splatters of green on it and then sort of the traditional Christmas candy kind of look. This one has ornaments on it and then on its backside it has another traditional plaid. This one has this brown paper on the edge, which looks similar to the other one, but it's got little tiny, almost like Christmas candies on the other side here. Anyway, it goes on and on, all in the same colors and patterns, and there's all different kinds of materials on the fronts and backs of these. Some of them are quite similar but I did get a package of this paper. And the other thing that I got to go with this was this die. And I was interested in this die because it made the cutest little pillow box. And I do do quite a few little projects at Christmas time. So I thought I would show this to you. It makes a pillow box, but it has a scalloped front, and it has these four different sized, well, two of the flowers are the same size, and then a, and then two, two larger ones and two smaller ones. And then it has this that you can use to cut on the flap that punches a couple of holes, which allows you to tie your project shut. Then these two pieces here that add some extra decoration around here and a label die. And I just thought this was so pretty. And the lid of this is stitched. And there's an opportunity to put a stitched piece 
over the top of this so that your stitching goes around the front and the back and you can use your decorative pieces on either side of this. And I just thought that was so pretty. And this one is called Pretty Pillow Box Dies. So that is what I got from that suite. And the paper is called the Gingerbread and Peppermint 6x6 Designer Series Paper. So that is the first thing that I got. Oh, and with it comes this ribbon. And I haven't opened this yet. And it is a red ruched ribbon. And I just thought it was so pretty. It would go with an awful lot of things for Christmas. And it's soft. It'll make pretty bows. And it's just got this beautiful ruched kind of look. Um, and I think that's going to make a lovely addition to my Christmas projects this year. And this is called Real Red. And then it's called Mini Ruffled Ribbon. So that is what I got from that whole gingerbread suite. All right. Next, um, and I'm just kind of going in order of what the catalog is doing here. The next thing I got was this material here. And then I'll start with the paper. And I just loved this paper in more of the traditional colors again. Um, and it's got different patterns on the front and back. And this is a regular 12 by 12. And I thought for projects that I do, um, I really do prefer the more traditional stuff. Um, I thought this was just such pretty paper. And it's got light and dark patterns. And I love the holly leaves. And then it's got this pattern, which is pine cones and there's a lot of pine cones and pine boughs in this pattern paper so there we go let's see and this last one has again this pretty kind of uh, berry paper and on the other side of that are Christmas bells it looks like or little ornaments and so that is one of the pieces and this suite is called painted Christmas and so I got this paper to go with it. And then I also got Christmas to Remember. And it is this. And there is this stamp set. Now there's another stamp and die set that goes with this. And I didn't get it right off. But it's got the stamps for the holly leaves and the, um, and the uh, pine cones. Uh, but this one has a lot of lovely Christmas things. Um, Merry Christmas seasons. Greetings, friend, like you make the, species, the season special. Love and joy come to love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. Magic is in the air. Merry, may this be Christmas to remember and cherish. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Tis the season. And I just love the fact that all of these greetings are in the one stamp set. And then the dies with this match the paper a bit. So there's this whole piece here that is pine boughs. And this is all one giant die. So you can cut this whole thing out. And then these pine cone pieces fit in these spots that you cut out. So you could get something with quite a bit of dimension. And I just thought this was so pretty. And then this is also another giant die and it has pine cones built into it and this I think could probably be laid across this I think that's how it's built and so you can get quite a bit of dimension with this and that really appealed to me and this one is called Christmas pine cone dies and it is part of this bundle and that bundle is called Christmas to remember bundle isn't that pretty? I just, uh, I couldn't pass up. I love boughs and pine cones and things like that. And so I got this one. And I may go back and get the other one because it's got lots of labels and dies. And 
It's got uh, different leaves and holly leaves and, and then the stamps to go with all of that. And so we'll see on that one, but this is the first one that I got and it went with that beautiful paper that I just showed you. Along with that also came this ribbon, which is very pretty. It is um, cherry cobbler and gold. Think about our um, other two-tone ribbons. And I thought this would go with several of the sweets. Isn't that pretty? And it's just soft, easy to work with tie a quick bow here and yes it's going to make really pretty bows and I just thought that a touch of gold along with the cherry cobbler would go with a lot of things and then in this suite also was these leaves and they're paper they almost feel like fabric and I'll bring a couple of them up here so you can see. They are um, gold and they're in the shape of holly leaves. And you can see some of the white background and you can see the gold sparkle on it. And so I got uh, a couple of packages of this because I thought, boy, on almost anything I do for Christmas, something like that would work to add just a little extra sparkle. So that was it. I got the ribbon, this, the die set, the stamp set, and the paper, and this is called Painted Christmas. So that is that one. Next in the catalog, some of this, which is how they're packaging their um, silver uh, foil paper this year. It's in a package with three different sheets. There's what we have known always as our silver foil. Then this one that is more of a matte um, silver foil. And then this one is a shinier, darker silver foil. And so um, I got one or two packages of this also. And I think for a lot of the projects, and the different silvers will give us a lot of versatility. So I got that paper. Then the next thing I got, and this was a big surprise for me. I got this paper called From the Whimsy and Wonder Suite. And I honestly didn't think I was going to like it because it's not in the traditional colors. Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series Paper, and it's in pinks and blues, and I don't know about you, but I don't think of pinks and blues as Christmas paper. But this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, um, this particular piece of paper. Now it's got holly leaves and berries, and it's got some in a traditional color, some that look like they're mint macaron. In fact, let me look at what the colors are. Blushing Bride Crumb Cake Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Polished Pink. And I just don't think of those colors going together. Now this is foiled, and the thing that's interesting about the foil on this is this foil shines blue. In, in the light in certain places, it definitely looks silver. In the light in other ways you look at it, it looks gold. And then in another light, when you look at it, it is positively blue. So it's very, very interesting. And I think I'm in love with this paper. It's got this polished pink pattern on the back side of this. Uh, pink background with these blue silver. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to move that in the light. And you can see how it changes color. And it really is gold, silver, and blue. Very interesting foiling technique. This one has this big bold pattern of stripes on it. And here is a striped paper with white and that beautiful iridescent color on it. And on the back side of it is just a green uh, snowflake looking kind of thing. These trees are gorgeous. Um, and again, they've got that same iridescent gold, silver, blue 
kind of tint to it. But I thought, you know, that it really is pretty. And on the back side of this one is some mint macaron paper. So uh, I'm, I'm really surprised about how I've taken to this. But I absolutely love this. And I'm going to have to go now get pink ribbon. <laughs> and so maybe even the stamp set and the dies in this one. Uh, but look at these ornaments. Aren't they cute? And they're so different. I'm so over ornaments uh, for so many things. But these have little bows on them. They have deer faces in them. They have flowers in them. Other kinds of decorations. And very, very different. And I fell in love with these because I thought both as just the paper itself. But you know me. I'll be fussy cutting out some of these ornaments and adding them to projects. Um, they're just beautiful beautiful and on the back side is this misty moonlight christmas trees and stars paper very very pretty um and like i said i'm blown away by how much i like it these presents are done in all different colors and again it's got that beautiful iridescence on it and this has got green uh, and red holly on it so it absolutely is the more traditional and I have to say that I ordered one just to see what I would think, and I'm in love with it. So I will definitely be making some projects out of this. Um, and you can make them more traditional by adding red to this um, uh, and uh, green to some others. Uh, but it's, I think they're just great. And I particularly love the ornament paper and this holly paper. I think it's just great. So that is what I ordered from the Whimsy and Wonder. And I'm very surprised about how much I like it. It's really beautiful. Okay, the next thing that I got, the only thing I got on something called Peaceful Place that's done in silvers and blacks and whites and grays is I got this and it's like our black ribbon with the um, with the diamonds in it only white and I thought that would go really well with some of my Christmas projects look at that it's that sheer organdy ribbon with uh, the sparkle in it and the sparkle is kind of pink and blue and silver and very pretty and I think on some of that whimsy paper this might go really well and it could go well with a lot of other things as well very pretty like like the black ribbon with the um, with the um, shiny things on it there we go isn't that pretty I just um, I just think it's gorgeous anyway so I got that one and that is out of something called peaceful place and the paper is kind of pretty but it was very gray and white and uh, I'm intrigued by the embossing folder because I like doing embossing folders in the holidays on some of the um, iridescent paper so we'll see what happens with that okay so next uh, is this Blackberry Beauty Suite. And out of the Blackberry Beauty Suite, I was able to get a few things. The paper has been delayed, and it is beautiful paper. It has a lot of Blackberry Bliss in it, and what looks like almost raspberry colors, and gold. And it's just lovely. So I got several pieces of this. So First of all, what comes with this is this paper. And this is, you know, our shimmer vellum. Well, this is gold shimmer vellum. Isn't that pretty? And I love the vellums. I love anything they do with them. And so I had to get a package of this silver vellum. Then this was the stamp set that went with it. It's called Beauty of Tomorrow. I'm here for you. Some people are just likable. You're one of those people. I know this is dif a difficult day. The changes of leaves remind us that the new, wonder, new wonders are just around the corner. It's got this beautiful bird in flight and a couple of these sprigs. And then the dyes are, uh, there's 
two dies, two pages of dies, and this big, gorgeous beauty of leaves is all one die. So this could really go on the front of a card to add some dimension, and then it's got some separate leaves here, and then more separate leaves here. There's our bird in flight, and then this piece cuts out this stamp piece here, and this one cuts out this one. So there's some coloring involved on this one, unless you can cut things out of the designer series paper. And since I don't have mine yet, I'm not positive about that. But uh, the color scheme, I think, is just gorgeous. And there is an ephemera pack that goes with all of this. Um, and so here is the ephemera pack. Oh, I apologize for the crinkling. I forgot to take this one out of the package. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Um, but here is the ephemera package, so you get an idea of what this paper is going to look like. So there's uh, this polka dotted pattern with leaves and gold, these uh, tags, and it looks like they're multiple tags. So there is a tag here and then the rim of a tag here. And I suppose if you wanted to, you could fussy cut out this tag and make that um, a, a double piece. But they're very, very pretty. And then it's got this kind of a, um, of a, a banner piece on it. Then this piece cuts out, so it's multiple kinds of things. Very interesting. And then this piece cuts out, so you could um, do something with it. And then this piece cuts out, and so you've got a larger piece that you could do something certainly like that with. Wouldn't that be pretty? Very, very interesting. And that's the first page of the ephemera pack here. So let me pick these pieces up so I don't lose anything. And I'm going to just set those aside here. And then there's this, and there's an owl in flight. There's this tag with the um, Blackberry Bliss uh, decorations on it. All kinds of um, this one is um, maple leaves and acorns. This one is flowers and leaves. Um, just, just awful pretty. And there's a couple pages of those. And then there are, it looks like a page or two. Let me see how many. Two pages of this one with many of those same tags, but in gold. Isn't that pretty? I fell in love with the look of this ephemera pack, so I went ahead and got it. And so that is part of this suite, and this suite is called Blackberry Beauty. And um, so this is going to be a great big fun one to mess with, and I can hardly wait to get my hands on the paper for this one. Okay, so I've got all of that packaged back up again, and there was also ribbon with this particular one, and it's this gold, almost lame looking material. So I'm going to open this, and we're going to get a chance to see what this ribbon is like. All right, so here is the ribbon that goes with this, and it's all gold on both sides. And it's got kind of um, a detailed edge and soft, makes up beautifully, very much like some of the other ribbons. But also think about, was it this ribbon here that was this uh, metallic uh, cherry cobbler and gold? And look how that would go with this paper. So I think there's some crossover here. But that was what I got out of the Blackberry Beauty. And from what I can tell at this point, this is the favorite suite that I have uh, gotten material from. The next thing I did 
was called Gorgeous Leaves Bundle. And the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle, I know, more leaves. <laughs> but I'm one of those people that believe you can never have too many leaves. So this one has the stamps of the leaves and some texture material, which I thought was very interesting. And then little tiny leaves here that um, are three of them in one stamp. And then the dies, and this is what I was really interested in. The dies in this set have the cutout. So these are leaves that have that lacy kind of look. And I just love these things. I love making fall cards with uh, the lacy leaves. So I got this one. And the die set, I mean the stamp set is called Gorgeous Leaves. And this die set is called Intricate Leaf Dies. So that is this set. Then I went ahead and got the pumpkin set. And I did because it has the dies. And the dies make a very interesting, intricate kind of um, pumpkin that I think could be very Baroque and very interesting. It also cuts out this pumpkin, this pumpkin, and then this pumpkin is separate. But it's got these beautiful pumpkin leaves with this little scrolly bits and it dies that cut that out. And that, that got me. <laughs> and it says, if friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. So thankful for you and gather together. So I thought that one was kind of a pretty little set. And I probably don't need any more pumpkins, but I kind of liked it. Uh, mostly because of the dies on that one. Now, I didn't order any of the Halloween stuff. And then I also got one. It's a bundle. And it's called Merry Snowflakes. And I know we all have lots of snowflakes. But these snowflakes are stitched. And they're stitched on the outside of the cutting blade and the inside of the cutting blade. And there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then this big die to add sort of um, cut detail across part of your card. And it wouldn't be embossed detail, it would be cut. So it would be very interesting um, to take a look at this. I don't know how much of that actually punches out, but not a whole lot. Anyway, uh, it was very intriguing to me, plus these pieces that would add stitching to uh, uh, around your card. And then this stamp set, Merry Snowflakes, made the happiness of family, the joys of friendship, and the warmth of love surround you this season, which I thought was nice. May your days be merry and bright, and all your Christmases be white. Merry everything. And then a couple of swirl... Uh, uh, stamps and so um, I know we have lots of snowflakes but like I said these were stitched and that really intrigued me so um, I went ahead and got this set now then the material out of the sale abrasion catalog and let me show you what I got this I got quite a bit of stuff um, this, oh, this was another thing I did get, the Timber 3D embossing folder, and that is part of the pine cones uh, suite, and um, I think these are particularly interesting when it's got this much detail on it to emboss some of the silver pieces, and I thought for masculine cards, this would be lovely. So it's got that um, sort of wood timber 3D embossing folder, and I am thrilled to have that. Now let's see, on the sale abrasion, and this is on the first or third page here that you can get this paper. This paper is interesting in that it's paper, obviously, with lots of sparkle on it. But what's interesting about it, first of all, it's quite thick. And it's almost got individual dots of 
foil on it. I'm going to bring that up so you can see that. Isn't that interesting? It almost looks like fish scales. Um, and it's very pretty. And I was really curious about it. And it is silver, but it's got kind of a gold cast to it. So I think it could be used with either silver or gold. And it's just very interesting. It's called Be Dazzling 6x6 six six paper. And this is one of the free options for a $50 purchase. So very pretty paper. All right. Next, I got um, this paper, which is called Penguin Playmates. And there's a suite in the catalog for Christmas that is all about these penguins. And I think there's either dies or a builder punch. I'm not positive. But, uh, and normally I don't do this kind of paper, but I did this time. I have a grandson now. And so I will be making a few kids things. Um, and so this paper is just as cute as it can be and probably would appeal to him. And so there's penguins and foxes and bears and sleds and pine trees and you can see it's got some of the more traditional and some of the less traditional colors with it and uh, so this is one of the freebies that you can get and this paper like I say coordinates with something in the catalog and we have this available for um, uh, two months uh, August and September and this paper is available for a $50 purchase. The next thing I got was Feels Like Home and this is a beautiful little scene. I can't thank you enough. Missing you. Your friendship feels like home to me. I'm always and forever here for you. There's a bicycle and a hanging basket and a couple of pots and a little tree and a door, a sprig and, and a um, pot full of tulips. Very, very pretty. Uh, celebration. Again, this one is available for a $50 purchase. The next thing is this beautifully penned paper. It goes with the hand pen suite. And it is black and white and gray paper. And it's four sheets of each design. And so there's this beautiful floral pattern here. And then this kind of whimsical, almost like waves pattern on the back side. And I thought about this with some of that silver paper put together to make some masculine cards. I think that would be just lovely. And there's three designs and there's four sheets each of each of these designs. There's this one that's kind of like a watercolor wash with stripes. And on the back of it, look at that, some of that beautiful hand pin design. Now that would be beautiful to color and add to any project. And again, four sheets of this particular design. And the last design in here is this one which is the small leaf pattern with a watercolor wash looking behind it, and then white and black polka dots on the other side. Very, very pretty. They're almost a dark charcoal gray and not really black, um, and with the leaf design on it here. So these are the patterns that are available in this package of paper, beautifully penned 12 by 12, um, and it is available for a $50 order. You could pair this with some of your other hand pinned projects and have it just be lovely. And again, we've got this one is active for two months starting in August and September. The next one, the next one is free. There's two pieces to it, and each piece is available for a $50 order. This one is Counting Sheep. And again, this one, these usually turn into prizes for me for someone, or I'll use them to make some stuff for my grandson. So there is 
sort of fencing here. There are clouds, which is kind of nice to have. Um, a sun, a party hat, someplace, there it is, party hat, a flag, a balloon, and then the three sheep in the images that they are here. This is available for a $50 purchase, and this is available for a $50 purchase. So that is the counting sheep and sheep dies. Okay, next uh, available in sale abrasion is this one, which is called Textures and Frames, and it is a stamp set, and it's just what it says. There's kind of an, uh, a rectangle frame, a circular frame, uh, this little blob with the pieces that kind of are a little lighter on the outside. This looks like a blotch of ink, a dash of color, and three more dashes of color. And this one is available for a $50 purchase. Next is this. This is available for a $100 order. And it is a set of dies. Now, isn't that just gorgeous? Um, and the dies coordinate with a um, stamp set in the catalog, and I pulled mine out, called Shaded Summer. And these dies cut out these images in the Shaded uh, Summer suite. And so there's um, individual flowers, there's these flower swigs, and there's dies to cut all of that out, and then individual flowers here that you could cut out. And some of these dies, in fact, are bigger than the dies in here, except for those that cut out those shapes. And uh, so this set of dies is available for a $100 purchase, and then they go with this shaded summer uh, stamp set. Let's see, the last thing that I have to share with you is another stamp set that is available with a hundred dollar purchase. And here it is called Delicate Dahlias, and it's a distinctive uh, celebration. So this will look very realistic and it looks like it matches this uh, stamp here. So it'd be a two-step stamp in all cases here. Small leaves, larger leaves, small flower, large flower. And um, it looks like it's an exact match. And it's uh, out of that beautiful, distinctive design. And so this one is um, available for a $100 purchase. And uh, the s sentiments are, thank you kindly, oh so happy for you, sending heartfelt sympathy, and you inspire me. And so that is this one. I think this is, no, it's photopolymer. And so it's, um, and they're doing this on the inside of the, of the cases now. So you can put your stamps down on the inside of this um, and know exactly that you have everything right back where you're supposed to. So that is that set. And that is what I got for sale abrasion this time. I got another one that I just want to share with you. I don't know if you've seen these in the catalog. I got this die, which I hadn't gotten before. It's called Stitched with Whimsy. And look at these dies. Isn't that pretty? They're just all different sizes. Some of these dies would be almost a whole card front. And then others of them are squares, and some of them are rectangulars, and some of them would be like a cover piece. Uh, but they really looked intriguing to me, and they produce a stitched pattern on your paper. It doesn't look like they actually cut anything out. It's just adding the stitching around something that you already have on your card. Anyway, I thought they were very interesting, and I got those. And then there's another one I don't know if you have seen, but it is very intriguing to me. And it is this, which is a um, Bloom Hybrid Embossing Folder. 
this embossing folder has that floral design on it with leaves kind of going away and out away from the flowers. So that is the embossing folder and it comes with a set of dies. And so you can run it through the embossing folder, it looks like, and then you can cut the images out with dies. So it's not dissimilar to those ones with the seashells where you can get the embossed image and then cut out the images, making for very interesting um, cards. I did something with them um, with the chalks here just recently. It's called bloom dies. And these bloom dies look like they cut out, first of all, the central floral piece right here. So you could run this through your embossing folder and you could then run it through again and get these pieces to pick up. Um, and there's a couple of, of um, tag dies here and some leaves. It's very pretty. And then uh, I went ahead and pulled out this, which is the Art in Bloom stamp set and all three of these things coordinate. So there's the embossing folder. There's the stamp set with the pieces. So you could stamp this, emboss it, die cut it, add it to your card that way, or re-emboss something and then add some of these pieces over the top. It's got all kinds of possibilities. And I had completely overlooked this in the catalog. And um, so I went ahead and got this, and I'll be working with that fairly shortly as well. So that is what I have for you today. It is a lot of material out of the catalog. Um, some of it celebration, lots of paper and dies. And there's just all kinds of things that I think are just beautiful from this catalog. Some of the ribbon, some of the paper, some of the dies, some of the stamp sets. We have just a plethora of, of material in this catalog. And that is my video for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I've had several people ask recently what caught my attention out of the catalog. So I thought I would do a quick, this This is the uh, unboxing for me. Now I don't have everything I want. Of course, my wish list is as long as my arm. So uh, I will be getting more material. And as I do, I'll share it with you. Um, let's see, this is still July and uh, uh, my prize draw for the month of July is the vine, grapevine bundle. And uh, you can put yourself in my drawing by placing an order of any size on my store, albedinger.stampinup.net. And you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. Thank you so much again for stopping by. And I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye.